To access the settings menu to view and adjust the camera features, press the camera touchscreen and enter the default pin number 3333. The camera should now be unlocked and you can view the settings. Enter the settings mode in the main menu to set your camera. Next, let's take a look at some of the settings and how to adjust the features within the camera. It's important to calibrate the sensors before using your dash cam. The Surfsight AI-12 contains an internal accelerometer that detects unsafe driving events. The accelerometer is not calibrated in advance, as the installation in every vehicle is different. Please follow these steps to calibrate the accelerometer. Before you start, make sure the vehicle is parked on a level surface. First, turn on the vehicle's ignition. Second, check that the camera is on. Third, press the touchscreen and enter the security pin. Fourth, enter the settings menu. Finally, select Calibrate. The Surfsight AI-12 offers live streaming capabilities. You can enter the live view mode from the main menu. The live video will then be displayed on the screen. Use the arrow keys below the screen to switch between the road and cabin facing cameras. To exit, use the back arrow button to return to the main menu. One benefit of the Surfsight AI-12 is the ability to view triggered recordings directly from the device. To do this, go to the main menu, then enter the recordings mode to access recorded videos. All the recorded videos on the SD card will be displayed in a list, sorted by date and time. Use the arrow buttons to scroll through the list. Select the video you'd like to view and then click the play button. To exit, use the back arrow button to return to the main menu. From the settings menu, you can adjust the driving alerts function. These alerts help empower drivers to self-correct risky driving behaviors while on the road. They also provide insights into risk within your fleet. Here's how it works. A white vehicle icon will be displayed on the screen while driving. In case of a risky driving event, such as a sharp turn or unsafe driver behavior, the car icon will turn red, indicating a visual alert for the driver. In addition, the camera will deploy a sound alert. Please note, the camera is a driver aid only and not a substitute for a safe, conscientious driver. The camera cannot compensate for a driver that is distracted, inattentive, or impaired by fatigue, drugs, or alcohol. Whether or not the Surfsight camera is in use, it is always the responsibility of the driver to take appropriate corrective action. Never wait for the camera to provide a warning before taking measures to avoid an accident. Failure to do so can result in serious personal injury or death, or severe property damage. The driver pin code allows you to set an additional pin code for the driver. The driver pin code limits the access to the dash cam menu. It allows access to the live video, recordings, and exit. It doesn't provide access to the settings menu. This way, you can limit the driver access to the dash cam settings. To change the driver pin code, first, press the camera's touchscreen. Second, click on the settings. Third, scroll down to change driver pin. Fourth, Insert four digits for a new PIN code. By default, the driver facing camera is turned on. Turning the camera off will turn off the in-camera video recordings and the in-cabin video events uploaded to the cloud of dangerous and distracted driving. It will keep the distracted driver in-cabin visual and audio alerts on. It will display a message to the driver notifying him that in-cabin recordings is off. To set the driver camera recordings, first, press the camera's touchscreen. Second, enter the default pin number 3333 to unlock the camera. Third, click the settings. Fourth, scroll down to in-cabin camera recordings. Finally, touch the switch on the screen to on or off.